on eight. Make sure you don't film that because that's boring. That's boring? Yeah, it's just some fucking waveforms. It's like, who, that, that's not music. This is music. Music came about because of, really because of punk rock and skateboarding. The Ramones came in, I think it was late 78, and they played in front of City Hall downtown San Francisco. And me and my brother had asked my mom, hey, could we go? And she just looked at us like, you're fucking crazy. Go to school, kid. But we were total latchkey kids, so we cut school, and we went down there and seen the Ramones. And I was 12 or something, and it just changed everything because the shit that I had seen, I had never been exposed to before in the sense of aesthetic, the fashion, etc. Um, of punk music. As a kid, like, wow, that's fucking cool. Total freedom, like, fuck you, do whatever you want. And um, so that's what it was. I mean, that's really opened the door for me, seeing, seeing the Ramones in 78. Uh, When I first started doing this, like I was never going to release music to be consumed. It was because of a video, a skate video, 40s that I made, and I did all the music to it, and then like people heard it and were stoked on it, and Thomas Campbell got stoked on it, and wanted to put it out, and so did Moax, and so it just kind of happened. The idea of skateboarding, same thing, is like fuck, just go skate, right? Walk out your door. Well, just figure out how to get an instrument and just start playing. So this bass is, I've had this for, this is a 63 Jazz, somewhere in there. But I've had this bass since the 90s. I got it from a guy who needed to pay rent. Um, and I got it for a really good deal. This, I, this is an old Fender. This is what I grew up playing. This was like, exactly like my first bass. It's not my first bass, but same color, same everything, same era. Um, and uh, that was my very first bass. So I got this probably because I was feeling nostalgic. Save. Um, let's see what this is. So like something like this, I'll start with uh, congos and just make a, take a big chunk of what of part of it and just loop it so I have a nice tight groove underneath it and then play bass and then play all the shakers and other percussive elements, um, and then just start layering guitar stuff or keys or whatever it is. Um, but this is where my head's been at way more um, lately. The message really is instrumental music, the power of it. I think it gives you the ability to let your mind float and to let you interpret the song instead of being forced to hear and think what the vocalist is saying to you. I mean, you're tethered to somebody else's idea or philosophy or just some bullshit trite love song, right? Like, oh, I love you, baby, hey, and you're, you know, and, and the song just kind of sits there. Whereas instrumental music, it can take you in so many different places and it's not bound by actual language, right? It, it's much more international than music with words. As far as being a learned musician, I think it's great. I think people who have taken the route of, of actually being instructed how to technically play correctly, uh, how to read music. I mean, all that stuff's amazing. Because if you have the knowledge and you have the creative side, you can do some really cool shit. But then you have people who have just the knowledge and they're just cookie cutter. And then you have the people who are super creative but lack the technical ability but, but will get through, I think, to more people. Do I think it's necessary? No, not at all, not to make music, not to make any kind of art. It doesn't, you don't have to learn. You know, you don't have to go to art school, you don't have to go to music school, you don't have to do any of that shit to be creative.